What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Um, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be going over the psychology of breaker blocks. And a lot of people have understanding, don't have understanding. Why do breaker blocks work? Why do these mitigation blocks work? Blah, 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 whatever. Okay, if I go, I'm going to go to my Discord real quick. Um, I think I have a, I think I have um, a breaker block example in my Discord. Yeah, right here. Okay, so if we look at these examples, right? Um, I'm going to see if I can make this bigger, actually. Okay, so if we look at this example, right? This is a breaker block. Why? Okay. It's a red candle. Before it not move, we take liquidity. And then once we dump back below, you do not want to see this back up. Okay? So... At this time, this is an order block, okay? We use that as an order block. We hit this liquidity. Once we hit this liquidity, this is not an order block anymore. This is now a breaker block. And a breaker block, you you do not expect us to bounce off it again. You expect us to go beneath it. And then you just do not want us to go back over it. So in this situation, you can see we have this breaker block here. We go underneath it, and then we retrace back up to it. Okay, we never go over it, and then boom, we reject. Okay, same thing with a, let me pull up the bearish breaker. Or the other breaker, I mean. Okay, right here. Um, so this is a bearish breaker. Why? Well, we take liquidity, we go underneath liquidity. We this is not this is an order block at the time, but then we go under liquidity. So it's now not it's now it's not an order block. We go back above the the breaker, go back above it, and now we want to see use the support. And a lot of people would be like, oh, why don't we retrace into this very value gap? Okay, it's because you don't want to. This is just another PD array. This is a PD array. This is a PD array. Uh, there's a tiny uh, implied fair value gap here. Is the third PD array. There's a volume balance here. You do not want to see that many PD arrays get broken through. So chances are, if we do retrace this fair value gap, we're likely to hit the low. Uh, but again, this is a breaker block. Why? Because we take the low. You have to take liquidity with a breaker block. Mitigation block. It doesn't. You don't. Okay. Or just be it. If we did not take liquidity here, it would be an unmitigated breaker. So we go under, we go back up, and now if we're back above this breaker, we want to see it use the support, and then boom, we use the support, hit liquidity, right? So the psychology of these breakers is this. If you look at this swing low right here, okay? If you look at the swing low, okay, you're gonna see shorts, okay, shorts are gonna get in here, and they're gonna this is gonna be their kind of entry, right? Um, and then we get this giant dump, right? If we go back above and then we rip back above. Shorts are like, oh shit, we're ripping back above, right? Okay, their entry was here. Their short entry was here. So what they're hoping for us to do is come back down to their entry. And these market makers have the ability to move price back down to their entry. And they get out for break even. Okay, and when it comes back down, hits for break even, this is what causes the bounce from a breaker block, right? And because we hit liquidity, because we got this huge pump up, pump up, they're getting out of their position just in case the market kind of changes the trend, right? So if I go to try to find a breaker right now on the five minute, um, I'm not sure if I can find one at the moment. Okay, I will say like this one right here. Um, this is a bullish breaker. Okay, why is this a bullish breaker? Because there's two green candles before a down move and on the down move we take liquidity, we go beneath this low and then we go back above. And you can kind of see we go a little under the breaker, unfortunately. This is not the cleanest example. Um, you, you never would have hit the stop loss though, because if you're, if you're ever taking a breaker or whatever, your stop loss is always underneath the swing low, which we never hit the stop loss, so this ended up breaking out. Um, but like something like this, see this green candle before this down move, okay? This would be an unmitigated breaker because we never really take liquidity. But it's the same concepts applies. When we when we have this is a manipulation candle. This so, tells me okay, shorts are getting in. Then we have the dump. When we go back above this candle, right? When we go back above this candle, sh shorts are gonna be like, oh shit, right? We we are down and drawdown. We want to move the market back to our position just in case the trend changes. They move it back down to the breaker. They all get out. Shorts cover. What happens when shorts cover? Okay, we go way back up again. Okay. And this is the psychology and why these breaker blocks work. And 
you have to be there's a lot more knowledge you have to know than just kind of these breakers right there's way more you have to know okay it's not it's not just every green can't afford down move is always a breaker okay there's more ICT knowledge you have to know you need to watch my other videos you need to watch ICT's content um, but it's it's the concept it's, it's psychology when we go back above market makers or big guys positions and they have the ability to move back down to get out for break even and change their position they will do that and that's why we bounce off these breakers a lot of people don't understand that okay a lot of people are like well why did breakers work and this is why okay same thing with like same thing with the opposite okay so like uh, a lot of times it's like support and resistance right so if we got a bunch of guys getting in long here Okay, a bunch of guys sitting on like here. When we dump through this, they're like, oh shit, we just dumped through our positions. They're gonna move the market back up, go back to their original position, which is usually the swing low or swing high. They get out and then we end up dumping again. Okay, this is how the market is manipulated by these big guys who can move it. Um, it's just, it is what it is. That's why they get out. So they get out for break even. They don't even get out for loss sometimes, you know? So again, this is the psychology behind these. I hope I really hope this helps because understanding psychology for me personally helps me a lot. So if this helped anyone, leave a like. Um, other than that, ask me questions by Discord. It's in the description. And peace.